All right, everyone, poor Nancy Pelosi is having a hard time. For some reason, and I was not aware of this or would have talked about it at the time, when Kevin McCarthy replaced Pelosi as House Speaker, you know, because the GOP took over the, uh, the House in the last election, it took about 15 rounds of voting for Kevin McCarthy to secure the deal, and he still hasn't followed through on everything that he uh, was going to do. He is basically slow walking things like an impeachment inquiry, which is one of the reasons he's out now, because uh, eight of the MAGA populace decided to vote with all of the Democrats to remove him. Now they're getting hammered by the neocons. Oh my God, basically you're, you're siding with the Democrats. It's No, it's, it's called strategy. You're siding against Kevin McCarthy. You're using the Democrats to accomplish your means. I spoke about this the other day. Strategically, I don't know where this is going and, and who's going to take more lumps. Matt Gates is in a precarious position right now, admittedly. Even if ideologically I completely agree with rem removing Kevin McCarthy, the methodology that needed to be employed, the fallout thereafter, etc., is automatically going to be messy, if not disastrous. We'll wait and see. Um, the House GOP will look a little wonky as a result of this happening. So now you have Patrick McHenry, and he's the interim Speaker of the House. For some reason, Nancy Pelosi was not forced to vacate the office she was using when she was Speaker by Kevin McCarthy, perhaps another symptom of his lack of leadership. One of the first things that the new interim does Hey, Nancy, you need to vacate your office in the next 24 hours. Sorry, but, you know, you're not House Speaker, so you don't really have a reason to do to be there. You, you have your own office already, and but this other office, you know, you don't need a second office. And she uh, is complaining right now, well, I'm too busy burying Dianne Feinstein, acting like she can't take, like, fucking five minutes to call a staffer to have her stuff removed from the office. Nobody, Nancy, is commanding you to personally go to the office you used to use and pack up your things. You can barely even stand back up when you kneel on the floor as part of your tribal ritualism id poll bullshit. Nobody's expecting you to so much as pack a suitcase. How many fucking staffers do you have? How many people staffers could you hire sight unseen right now with six-figure salaries if you weren't a skinflint because you and your husband do so much insider trading? I'm sure that you'll be able to work time into your busy schedule of looking at Feinstein's decrepit course, uh, corpse and, uh, and uh, damning the Lord in the heavens for her dying and therefore leaving an interim incumbent Senator LaFonza who could beat out Adam Schiff, your good pussy-faced friend. I'm sure that you could probably accomplish that. But Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to be bothered with it. She would rather just whine. Uh, I, which I find funny. Again, you've already got your own congressional office. It's basically just... She, and this is probably why Kevin MacArthur left her own unmolested in her extra office that she's not even properly due. He's like, well, that's perfectly fine. I don't want to inconvenience poor Nancy. I'll be seen as a bully or something. A pure neocon as usual. Basically like Yertle the Turtle McConnell. Gets along really well with the neoliberals for a reason. That's why he's the first House Speaker to be voted out in such a manner. Very first one. He made history. Congratulations, your Wikipedia article just got another paragraph longer. I'm sure that that part at least amuses poor Kevin. I kind of feel sorry for the dude. Admittedly, he didn't have the easiest job trying to reconcile neocon Bushism with the 20 Freedom Caucus members. Yeah, I don't really envy McCarthy's job, although you would remember that originally it wasn't even ironclad that he would get that job, so... He should just rest on his laurels, go back to being a normal House member, and then he can quit later on with a tear in his eye like Boehner and go farm marijuana after uh, supporting jailing people for it, probably exactly what John Boehner did. Well, maybe the Republicans will try to draft Boehner back. Wouldn't that be funny? By the way, uh, tangentially related, the effort to replace the House Speaker uh, is also already muddy. Some people are saying Matt Gates might get it. I have a feeling the neocon Republicans wouldn't vote for him, uh, and the Democrats aren't going to hold rank for getting Matt Gates in there. They're going to put forth Hakeem Jeffries or something, which is also DOA. Uh, so you probably won't have a House Speaker for a good long while. Some people are saying Donald Trump. You'll remember Gates did cast a vote for Trump as Speaker the last time around in protest of McCarthy. That's not really a serious proposal. Trump is too busy running for the presidency right now. Honestly, with his particular set of skills and attitude, I wouldn't want Donald Trump as House Speaker. 
He'd be a shitty House Speaker. He's not meant for legislative stuff where you have to do uh, dealing in that way. He's meant for an executive position. It's the only kind he would tolerate. It's the kind that he's particularly good at. I don't know who you're going to get. Uh, there's, some people are saying Liz Cheney out of nowhere. I highly doubt that because you'd never get the Freedom Caucus to vote for. The Democrats will probably not be willing to do that either. The reason why they voted with Gates et al. here is because if they had voted against removing Kevin McCarthy, their constituents would have seen it as backing a Republican. And we all know Republicans are Nazis, right? Liz Cheney doesn't get off scot-free simply because she habitually worships at the altar of Trump derangement syndrome. In the end, it'll presumptively be a Republican who's currently in the House of Representatives. This would be the long-standing historical and traditional norm. Nancy Pelosi, meanwhile, is just salty. She's very, very sad because she's down to only one congressional office, like literally everyone else other than the House Speaker tends to have, and pretending that she's, I mean, uh, the, the, in effect, she's pretending that she's due that position. Well, you're supposed to wait for me to come back from burying Dianne Feinstein again. Look at the decrepit corpse, pick up the fucking phone in the bathroom, make a fucking phone call, and the staffers can vacate your office. I mean, it's not that difficult. I'm sure that the security there will have no problem with your long-term, easily recognized staffers entering your old congressional office in order to move the paperwork and, the, and all the booze and stuff in the dead of night to your other office that you already have. I'm sure that that won't be too difficult for them to do. They're used to carting your booze and brown bags uh, stuffed into boxes anyway, I'm sure. They, that they've got the capability of lifting your uh, Elizabeth Warren Vineyard Vintage Chardonnay and all of the other shit that you put into your gullet. I found it so funny. But the funniest part is the fact that after having been House Speaker for a protracted period of time, Kevin McCarthy apparently never got the memo to do this. Ah, oh, it's perfectly fine if Pelosi stays there. No, I'm not going to take her office or anything. I mean, I can understand you probably want to avoid the smell, but you know, you can clean things, Kevin. Uh, there are air fresheners and steam cleaners and all the, there's potpourri, incense, whatever you want. All of these wonderful things exist. You could even tear out the carpets and have new ones uh, put in to remove the booze stains and the piss stains at the same time. Isn't it wonderful, Kevin McCarthy? These are capabilities that the, uh, the people of the world have invented throughout time. It's called cleaning. You'd need a lot of cleaning to cover up that smell, but it'd probably be worth it. That's about all. Peace out.